Hi everyone, it's me Ayora and we are back with another game and this one is called Love Sam. I heard quite a lot of things about this game, especially that there is like a plot twist and the story is like very rich. So let's play. Oh, it's raining. New. Oh, it's very dark. Oh, there you go. Okay. That's, that's hard in there. Oh my god, okay, the controls are a bit wonky. Let me get used to it first. Do I have to turn on the light? Is that it? Okay. This is quite a big kitchen, isn't it? Wait. Okay, that's better. Okay, this is quite big. Okay. We need some more decoration in here. That's, oh! Pizza leftovers. And beer? That's exactly how my fridge looks like, honestly. <laughs> Um, clothes. Oh, we got jeans. Oh. What was that? I heard a noise. What else is in here? Oh, we got a pencil. Are we taking that? That's locked. What about here? Oh. That's a, okay, we're just being lazy now. Like, what the heck? I would be mad if I saw this in my house. <laughs> oh. Oh. What was that? Do I sit down first? My dirty little secrets. Read on to move on. The last human on earth was sitting alone in a room. There came a knock on the door. I've never cared for keeping a diary, but now seems to be a good time to start keeping one. Why? Because after all these years, I just can't forget about what used to be the light of my life. I know, over dramatic match? I get you. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing Brian Colmer as much as I did is bound to leave that big chunk of residue. Let's just say this diary is what's left of our relationship. Okay. Three years. No. Three years have passed and the world around me is still the same. Well, except for me. I look like a mummified corpse. That's not a good book. What would B say if he saw me again? So B is the guy, right? The Brian? Okay. That's the guy that we have a crush on. B left... Rosen Peak the moment he graduated high school to go to a fancy college of his dreams. So Brian had a girlfriend, but they broke up. Since then, I could only rely on my memories of him to keep on going. I wonder if it was the same for him too. When you love someone, his whole existence just gets etched into your brain. So no matter how much B changes, I will always know it's him. But will B do the same for me? I love B, but he was not the most likely person to remember stuff. It's been three years, so it's possible he did forget about me. Or am I giving too little credit? So here comes the big question. Will he remember me? Circle your answer. Yes, no. I mean, yeah. Oh. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Do I leave it here? No, okay. Who am I kidding? It's B we were talking about. We didn't have the most perfect relationship, but he won't just dump his memory of me down the toilet of something. He's too much of a nice guy for that. I mean, we always remember, don't we? And don't forget cute. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope our time together was meaningful enough to him. Enough to make him cherish 
even the darkest ones. Speaking of cherishable memories, I wonder that what happened to Joe's di diner. Used to be my favorite place, naturally, because it was B's favorite place to begin with. Okay, to begin with. If there were two things that were too good for Rosen Peak, it would be Brian and Joe's diner. Damn. Home of the best pancakes in the world. <laughs> Things were so much easier back then. V would just go, hey, and I would be like, hi. Nothing but hanging out after that with some occasional visit to Colton Hill. We had such a good thing going. <laughs> mm. 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 Oh, fuck, that scared me. Mm. Will I remember my voice? Mm. Will he say hey to me again? Mm. Did this already ruin mm. our moments? Mm. Oh, how do I... Oh. Unknown? Oh. Hello? Hi. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, well... Great. Okay. Let's get back to it. Um, I just wanted to say hello every time I call him, but what I want to do and I can do are two different things. Just enjoying V's presence and on the other side of the phone was satisfying too, in a way though. Wait, who is calling us then? Okay, hey. He was so eager to know who was calling him in the middle of the night. Hi. Wait, th this, this is starting to sound creepy now. Oh. oh shit. I wish I could sneak into people's minds. Look beyond their eyes just by staring. No, you don't want to do that. Believe me. <laughs> you don't want to see what other people are thinking. It's better that way. <laughs> If I had that power, I would never stop looking through V's window. Wait. Okay, just... Okay, so... Are we... Actually... Brian? And this is the girl calling us, and that was her trying to... Sneak in the window? Am I just... Overthinking it? That is a debut outfit. I admire your confidence, Sam. And with that, my whole high school years were probably over. First day of new school and the new girl in town got classified as undesirable. By what seems to be the queen of Wayright Academy, I spent the last night telling myself confidence, Sam, confidence. It looks like I should have spent that time picking better clothes. I try not to care too much about blending in, but these kids already look at me like I am a candy handed out by strangers. The package seems fine, but you know there's something fishy in there. Judging from their whispers, I could figure out they didn't know way right even accepted transfer transfers. It's been less than 24 hours since I moved to Rosen Peak, and I already enjoy sitting alone. Oh, to Rosen okay. Wait, I thought- okay. <laughs> Sitting alone in my dorm room more than attempt. Socializing with people who call me a city girl. Well, screw you two hillbillies. Besides, I decided not to force myself into making friends after how my old friends decided to turn on me. I just hope these guys- these guys leave me alone at least. Keeping a diary sure can help keep things together in all the chaos. I haven't kept a diary since kindergarten, but this seems like a good time to restart. Kudos to mom for giving me the advice. Oh shoot, almost forgot calling, calling her, write your later diary. My only true friend. Love, Sam. Now entering Rosen Peak. Okay, I did thought Rosen Peak was the name of a girl, but I think it's just a place. Sorry about that. Um, okay. Yeah, life in Rosen Peak was a jar filled with bittersweet candies. 
Not exactly tasteful, but I learned to enjoy it. I love bitter sweet candies. Nevertheless, it's where my heart lies. What was that? Wrote on a poem in B's memory. He used to struggle with Miss Lastly's poetry practices, even if he didn't have to try that hard. Miss Lastly always told us poetry is not about using fancy words, let your feelings do all the work. Well, this is how I feel. I stand at his doorstep, heart filled with desire. He rushes down the stairs, heart red like fire, but before his spirits can soar, first he must answer the door. Knock knock. Oh. Oh, I. Sorry, I keep doing that. Oh. Do you have to answer the door? Hello? Oh. Okay, that's very creepy. I don't like that. There's no one. Oh. Okay, let's go back. There's nobody there. Oh. August 22nd, 2006. Stacy is a classic. For your information, I guess that's the... For your information, she's the one who talked crap about my favorite vintage shirt. It's like she jumped straight out of a GC teen drama, blonde, hot, always talking, and a cheerleader. She even has a beefy jock for a boyfriend. I didn't want to start talking shit about someone already, but how could I resist every time I get in Stacy's view, triggered an obvious backbite? I'm seriously starting to think she's under a curse that kills her if she stops talking about someone else. <sighs> Sadly, coping with her bitchness wasn't the hardest part of the day. Mom called again. As far as she knows, it's just rainbows and butterflies here in Rosen Peak. Yeah. I can still remember the complicated face she made when I told her that my application was accepted by Wayright. None of us were expecting then to approve a transfer request of a 11th grader. Even if she told me she understands my need to move out of the city, I really feel guilty for leaving her alone. Even if it's dad's fault or family, our family is torn apart like this. You already used up your last runaway chance, Sam. Get your shit together. If not for you, for mom. This is getting intense. Hey. Wait, wait. Oh, I thought the door was gonna be open. That would be creepy AF. That got me. Okay. Uh, other way right kids were so predictable. Their doors were already open even before I put my hand on the knob. But this door was closed shut and so beautifully painted. Everyone liked him but couldn't get him up. Couldn't get him to open up. I knew there was something more behind that pretty paint. Something behind his bright smile. But on the other hand, being able to hang out with him was a good enough blessing for me. Enough to make me want to never leave his side. Ever. Creepy. Oh. What happened? Why is it so quiet suddenly? What? Okay, well, let's just keep... Um Oh, where are you closer? Hey. Oh, shit. Now what? Okay. What? Turn. Oh. Wait. Oh, this is way too dark. Okay, let me... Oh, there's a paper. Wait. August 26. My first Rosen Peak weekend, as the name itself gives away, the small town fits perfectly as a setting for a mystery horror genre. Lush forest, endless hills, and a lake that I'm certain is hiding a couple of dead bodies. Sounds great. I could pay a visit to the lake one day and take some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shots. As for now, I'm just gonna leave this POI on my to-do list, which is already filled with crazy amount of homework. I now know why youngsters of Wayright will try their best to get as far away from school as possible after class, to escape from choking on the pressure the teachers give them. 
Even on weekdays, pretty girls like Stacy will have their boyfriends give them a ride, and others make use of the power of public transportation to get to the more crowded parts of town. It does feel too quiet with no one left in school, but at least I don't feel as lonely as I was in San Diego. At least I don't have to watch everyone I know turn their faces away like I'm some kind of a demon spam. And at least I don't have to be reminded how fucked up things can be in a single movement moment. Moving on won't be easy, but as long as I keep myself busy, it won't be that hard. So I wonder how I should spend this afternoon. Write you later, love, Sam. B was always pushing his limits. Well, it was more like he was always being pushed, but he was good at it. That's why he naturally became the best quarterback of the team while maintaining a high grade for a star player. Damn, B. B was the best quarterback Way Wright could ask for. Seeing him running all sweaty on the field always trigger triggered something tingly within me. Yeah. <laughs> Something that made me want to catch him behind his back and never let go. All sorts of feelings and thoughts were pumped restlessly into my brain with every heartbeat. It gave me a bad headache. A good kind of back headache. I wanted it to stop. I wanted it to never stop. But as soon as V gave me that, hey, all those headache, headache, headaches were washed away. It used to be the best prescription I could ask for. Hi. Hey, take away the pain and let only the good things stay. Oh! Oh, wait, what? Oh! That's creepy. August 31st. For a boarding school, wayright intellectuals are not that interested in becoming intelligent. I visited the library for Miss Leslie Leslie's book assignment today, and two things su surprised me. One, the place was much bigger than the one in my old school. Someone could get lost in here. <laughs> two, I had a strong feeling that people rarely visit the library, maybe because they feared being lost in there. The place was too clean. Even the books showed little sign of human touch. I wonder if Stacy is even thinking of picking a book. With her admiring her boyfriend Kyle's tattoo all day, I doubt she has a spare time to do that. Jesus, we really do hate Stacy. Is she depending on Kyle to do the reading for her? Seriously? According to what I saw so far, he's either busy reacting to whatever is coming out of Stacy's mouth or working up some shenanigans with his joke buddy Brian, was it? So, yeah, right. In the meantime, I should be more concerned about myself than the well-being of the whole school. Open those eyes, no need for words. The sweetest love songs those eyes utters. So turn around and sing for me. Oh. Oh, oh my god, okay. Shit. Oh, that scared me. Wait, can I turn this on? Oh, I can't. Oh, that's not good. What's that? A brunch? The fuck do I do with a brunch? Put it here? What? Do I need to pick something else? I am confused. Um, I guess that's it, right? Yeah. I miss him even when I'm with him. I see him even when he's not looking. We are obsessed with him. Jeez. September 4th, visited the library again, a bit more people than before, and among, the, among them was Brian. It's not worth a bother, but seeing a major skank's boyfriend's bed wandering around in a library is uncanny by anyone's standards. He must have been there to pick the book for Miss Leslie's assignment. 
I almost got too close to him trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. Woe is me, hate to admit, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary worthy event, probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now, write you later. A joke in a library? Now I've seen everything. Love, son. Okay, so this is how we are falling in love with Brian. Uh, and one day he will start looking for me too. Only to realize I was with him the whole time, like a boogeyman under a sleeping child's bed. Fuck that. Please don't, please. Oh. That's new. Oh. Oh no. I hate this, I hate this. Okay, get out. Oh, I hate that, I hate that. I hate that so much. Okay. Can I... Did we take the paper? Did we? I don't know. I... Is that it? No, oh, I need to do something about it. I don't like that. What do I do? It's like... Please don't. What? Well, there was a paper in there. What do I do now? Oh, sorry about that. Let me put it in... Hello? Okay. Well, what do I do now? It's down there, right? What? Maybe like here? I'm confused. Oh, Jesus Christ. What do I have to do? I mean, the paper was there. So I need to pick that up somehow. I don't really know how. Oh, I can use these then? Maybe? Oh, this is bad. Ah, okay, get out, 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 get out. Oh, something's gonna happen for sure. Okay. <sighs> it was Mr. Kane's ninth psychology class and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. This time he gave each of us a mask and made us express our personalities by drawing on it. Again, this was psychology class. The last thing I want to do right now is open up to others, so for the next 30 cringy minutes I managed to create one of the most basic personality masks one can imagine. If my mask were a cover letter, it would start with I'm a people person. But it's not the dumb exercise that's bagging me right now. When the mask were being passed around, Brian, yep, him again, kind of smiled at me. It's 11 p.m. now, why am I writing about this? It's most likely an accident, accidental glance, but I still don't know why the very image hovered in my head for the rest of the class. Okay, the rest of the day, stupid brain props wanted an excuse for screwing up to this math test. Okay, get out of my brain. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, wh what? What I. What? Oh! Oh, we're putting all of them there? I didn't realize. Oh, okay. That's cool. Can we keep... Okay, let's keep reading. What will be, be remember me as a friend, a weirdo, a liar? After all, he didn't really know me. Like, really know me. No one did. I had to put, up, put on so many masks just to survive high school. 
the me that we knew was just layers and layers of fabricated image. Yeah. I could never take them off. I couldn't let anyone see how vulnerable I was. I would have been eaten alive. Worse, B would have left me completely. Maybe not. Even when the fragile layers were off, I couldn't take them off. So that's all I did, cover up the holes before anyone could peek through. Cover them up, don't let them see my face. Oh, find the lies. Oh. Okay, I guess we need to find like the speakers. Is there like a time thing? Where do I find them? Are they just like laying around? I don't like this. Oh, I'm... Wait. There's one. Wait, wait, wait. That's one. There has to be another one here. Oh no, this is bad. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I'm gonna die. Wait. Don't kill me, please. Oh, this is bad. I'm freaking out. I can't find any more. I'm just that scared me. <laughs> is it here? No. Am I just blind? Okay, let's try and do that again. Oh, this is gonna be bad. Okay. You guys ready? Find the lies. Oh, I did it again. Sorry. Find the lies. <laughs> okay, so the first one was in here. There you go. Cool. There has to be one in the bathroom. I <laughs> Right? Mm, I can't find it. Oh shit, here we go again. This was not here. Um, oh! Oh, oh wait, shit. Ah. Okay, second one. Where is the other one then? Oh! Here, I guess, spoil and passionate. Oh my god. What the fuck? <sighs> September 11th. I was returning some of the books I checked out when he came out of nowhere. Hey, anything worth reading? <laughs> I didn't know the voice was aimed at me, but my heart was somehow already skipping a beat. Brian had to tap me on the shoulder to get my complete attention. Sam, right? I saw you going in and out of the library. He said with battery boys. Battery boys? What does that, does that even mean? It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. I come here from time to time to, to get the stupid assignment out of the way so I can focus on my games. He said he could find anything interesting to read and since all he could think of were comics, he could use some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started. Because boys like any story with blood and breaking bones, right? Oh god. I don't recall how the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certain he said, see you later at some point, and I said, yeah, see ya. Misery, real nice Sam. If Brian didn't know, you were a weirdo. He does now. That's a good book. Oh, what the heck? That's good. That's fine. Uh, what I did, I did for B. All of them because I love him. Why couldn't he just understand? Others were nothing but poison. I was the only one who truly cared. But B didn't even appreciate the things I've done for him. I never wanted a drama. I wanted a poem like life. 
a tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's totally fine if no one else gets is it as long as B does. I hope he remembers our little word. Even if he got forgot about it, I made him a map so he can find his way back. And I think it's a good time to come back now, B. Oh, this is so cute. Let's go back to our small world where all your favorite places are forever etched in my heart. Go back. Go back. Oh! September 16th... 2006. Turns out the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it. I know this because I went there. I went there because Brian took me there. What? It also happened so fast. I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere again. He said hey and he started telling me and he started telling me how he actually enjoyed the book and how he never read the same book twice in his life. And since he was heading out, he offered me to give me a tour of the town. Ten minutes pa later, we were passing Joe's Diner, home of the world's famo famous pancakes, says Brian. There was also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with ten years old. Ten year olds. The donut shop was Brian's must go to place too, unlike the music store which according to him seriously needs to restock. I found my own POI a bookstore. Point of interest. That's it. It was weird seeing a bookstore and a gym standing side, to side by side though. At the end of the tour I finally got to taste that sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out the window I could see the weird gigantic hill that was also visible from my dorm room. Brian revealed that he had a secret base of some kind there. He jokingly said he could take me there when I'm cool enough. After dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted by having to be on my limits. I can't sleep. How can I when the whole day just feels like a dream? Oopsie. Oh. We got a sticker. Well, we got another one here. Oh. Mark our favorite spots. Oh. No, not that. Our favorite spots. Pancake place. There you go. Oh. Oh. Pancake and the gym. Our favorite spots. I guess. Okay. These are two. I need to find another one. Oh, it's there. Wait, I can see it from here. Here. Right? Yeah. Oh. And this should be the library, I guess. No. Is it these? No. What is it then? What's this? Oh, Donut Place. That's it. Oh! I miss Morning Dew Donut Shop. B never shut up about its donuts. They did taste sweet, just like B's heart. Each bite was another memory to savor. But just like a donut, it had an expiration date. It turned cold and bitter. I miss its warmth. I miss its sweetness. I need it. I need to eat it up. Oh. Are we gonna eat? Is that it? Oh. Oh! I miss its warmth. Okay. Oh, that looks good though. That's not it. What? I need to eat it up. Then eat it. Why are we not eating it? What? Are there... Is there anything else hidden? get it oh I have to warn it up wait 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 
Like this is. I prefer it cold, honestly. But is that hard? A key. Oh, is this drawer? What's it here? Oh, I can take it. Why can't I? Oh. Okay, I can only take one thing at a time. Okay. Oh, September 25. The golems just obliterated the hammer hammers here today. What? I know. I now know why they say Ryan and Kyle are more than buds. I would have called in an awesome duo too if only Kyle wasn't an assload of a douche. I mean, the guy has his name tatted on his arm. Call me old-fashioned, but I think he should just he should go to hospital and get that ego checked out because it must be swollen huge. Ew. At least he leaves me alone other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can keep hanging out uh, with him, but Brian? They do say we sometimes become friends with those who are the opposite ends, so maybe it's such it's not such a weird thing. For me, the real win was the photos I took of Brian. Watch out for Sam Holt, the rising teenage stalker. Bring in the Polaroid camera I bought years ago through my camera geek phase. Seems like a good idea now. Side. I know I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama, but when I took a Brian, look at Brian, he when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe, it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not really ready to define what his, this feeling is, but for now, I'm going to leave it as looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed, under my bed, just like the pictures I took today. Are we gonna look at the photos? Okay. I hated every moment I was not with V. I was helpless. Every day I wanted to call him just so we could chat, but I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. It could even hurt his reputation. When I finally worked out the nerve to call and I could do... All I could do was listen to him say hello. That was as far as our late night phone call chit chat would go. I hung up wondering if he knew who was on the other end of the line. I remember the strong burning sensation that came every time I called him. That red fiery sensation. Red. So fucking red. Red everywhere. Oh my god. Bruh. Oh, finish what you started. What did I start? Oh. What? Oh, we have a. Is it with these? I think it is. Oh. Okay, this is gonna be... Oh. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> For what? Oh. Okay, they're leading me to here. What's happening in here? What? Oh. Oh, this is bad. What's that? What's this? Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> oh! Oh, wait, what? Someone there. Oh! Wait, no, we have to do this one too. Oh, that's bad. I can't. Who is that? Is that. Us? I mean the uh Sam Is it? Okay, oh yes, she's gone. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, wait, what? What the fuck? Where are we now? Oh, oh. Wait, what? Oh. That does not look good. Sam, meet me at Golton Hill. You know where to find me. Something in there. Okay, well, I'm here. There's another paper here. September 28th. Due date for me is a last day's book report is right around the corner. I'm still not finished. Only if I wasn't too disturbed. Normally I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason I thought, hey, why not? The premise for Mingled itself is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She, re she reaches a conclusion that it's because all of those girls are around him, so she starts making a list of all the basic girls who also have a crush on Michael. What she's planning to do with the list is yet to be revealed. If I can finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the report with enough time for a revise. P.S. I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? Because he's been asking for my help with some of his works and I'm gladly agreed to. Why would I do that? Because by helping Brian focus on his practices so he can bring trophies to our beloved school? No. It becomes safe to say I'm taking part of a bigger cause. Not like I'm doing this for personal reasons, right? Yeah. You could say that. I want so bad to be close to Brian, so close I can peep into his beautiful head. Oh. Here we go, not again, please. Okay. So close I can just lean into him and tell him the deepest desires. No. Hmm. Oh. You. So close that I can whisper, don't leave me, don't go away, don't smile for others, don't look away. I'm not looking away. Okay, stop trying to make me look away. What is going on? Stacy invited everyone to a late post victory party at her place this Friday. Weird that she told me this at the hallway herself. The sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. But to think of it, a self conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could be. I prefer celebrating quietly in my room. But since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would be sort of rude of me to not be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him, so the least I could do is show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face that Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe, just maybe, I could even piss her off if I managed to strike a conversation with Brian. And Omega hanging out with an alpha, Kyle would be busy confronting Stacy fuming about how I messed up her ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam, just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly go wrong? A lot. <laughs> like staring into closed eyes, I could never know if B knew I was looking at him. Did he even know? Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew, but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decaying sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but 
what's the point, when the stench is still there. I started to think the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Colton Hill. What the hell happened? All I wanted was... How did I come so low? All I wanted was a change, chance to show how I feel about B without any noise getting in the way. No matter what happens next, it would at least give me some sort of closure and peace. Brian was super likable, everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling when Brian started talking. They made me want to puke. They smile as if their relationship with Brian meant anything. And yet I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Frozen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B needed to be a fucking model student. Nothing says pick me to college, admission like a spotless student record. He can't just shake up my whole board. I guess he can. Where is it? Is this Suicide suspected in death of missing teenager. Oh no, here we go. The girl of 17 who was found dead at Colton, Colton Hill likely ended her own life, police says. Sam Holt. So Sam is dead. A transfer student of Wayright Academy has been reported missing for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her body in the forest. Due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, the investigation of Miss Holt's death faced a few challenges. However, interviews with the school faculty members and its students led to the possibility that she threw herself off the cliff of Colton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of her former teachers. She was even publicly humiliated just before her disappearance. It must have worked as the tipping point for her. Rosen Peak Police says the fall did not kill Sam instantly. It is possible she gasped for air through her broken neck before dying. Wayward Academy now faces suspicion of neglecting its students led by the mother of Miss Holt. That is horrible. Oh. 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 Wait. Yeah, why can't I... What? Can I leave it there? Yeah. Well... What do I do with it then? Oh, put it in there. Mm, okay, okay, okay. October 7th. Oh man, everything's gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The oh, the pain only escalated the moment Brian texted me. You feeling okay? No, I was not okay. And why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick. I was so close to being the center of the party that he had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam, you've reached a new low in life. Shit, is this it? Is this how I die? I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. He said maybe now is a good time to show you uh, my secret hideout. What? Since I passed the test by showing the whole school a different me. Is he seriously going to take me to his Colton Kill hideout? Tomorrow I'm going to be the so-called most romantic place in Rosen Peak with Brian. There is something in my head that... It's keeping me awake and it's not hangover. I mean, it could be too. Okay. Oh. Hello?
That looks like a... Hmm? Well, now we're gonna do it? But there was someone with... Did someone actually push us? That's Sam! so confused of what's happening i i am lost right now this is quite a mess here are we brian we're brian reading this is it is that it i'm so confused oh my god brian actually took me to cold zone hill the hideout brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town the whole place under the golden sunset the best part of this spot was that it's quite hidden and safe you could easily roll down the hill if you were careless or drunk, and no one could find you for days. How awesome is that? Being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident, though. For now. We sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rose and Peak is and Brian being all meh about it. I guess you can get fed up with, the, with views like this, too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the Hales view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shots of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill, it became clear that my life just became, became a bit more messed up now. I know because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Oh. Brian's secret hideout, a close Colton Hill, hiking route discovered by himself so he can hide from the world around him. Not a flashy place, but it had a great view. All the life's problem and stuff looks like hell, and then there is our sanctuary. I wish they could be our special place, ours and ours only. Colton Hill is nothing but a rock pile of blood soaked memories now. Why did he have to break my fucking heart? Was I just one of his many friends? Maybe that's it. That's why he wanted to leave Erwin even after I told him that we won't be together anymore. He thought he was too good for Rose and Pig and me. To him, I was just a background in his pictures. from here okay oh you don't deserve a face what oh the book report was finished days ago but I can't Don't do that. Oh, that's it. Now what? Oh! Shit! Let me out! Oh! What? Oh! Hope you remember how to take pictures. to do now it's so freaking creepy okay do i need to okay let's read this first um i don't know what i was saying the book report was finished days ago but i can't stop thinking about mingled mostly because my stupid brain thinks i'm sort of like the main character jenny to summarize the rest of the book jenny goes on his jealousy fueled sabotage rampage on every girl who has a crash on michael I know it sounds horrible with that context, but it's actually kind of cute. 
She finally stands on top, but Michael finds out what she's done. He breaks Jenny's heart, saying he can't be sure of who she is anymore. Things work out in the end, but that's not why I sympathize with the dorky psycho girl. Brian is just like Michael, popular, has killer biceps, busy hanging out with people. I can't see what he wants because of all the noise around him. I know he wants to go to college, but what about beyond the boring stuff? What kind of person that he, does he like? What does he think about me? He told me about his mom, how she died of cancer last year. It must have been so hard trying to look okay in front of everyone who's depending on him. It sometimes felt like he can't see me because he's so busy trying to meet everyone's expectations. I know how those around us can be hurtful and it's dangerous to rely on them so much. I just wish I can tell Brian one day that I'm here for him. I mean, you can you can tell him. Oh, are we done with the papers? It looks like. Do I continue? Do I have to take photos or something? Oh no. Oh, did I read that? No. Uh, maybe that's it. That's why he wanted to leave. Uh, blah 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 blah. He does was uh, okay. Brian got what he wanted in the end. He left Rosen Peak as soon as he was given the chance. As for me, I was left to suffocate in the hole of tainted memories until I drowned in my own, own endless nightmare. Don't leave me. Every day, every night, I'm surrounded by whispers. Whispers that lie, whispers that eat away my brain piece by piece, no matter how hard I try to. Oh god, I hear them again. Are you in a healthy relationship? Take this quick survey to find out. One must take as much as one gives. I mean, it doesn't have to be like the same. You just have to have a balance, but I suggest. Obsession is a stronger form of love. No. No one can have what you can't. No. Be never loved to you. No, no. Because you are a selfish little shit. No. All your problems aren't caused by you. Yeah, that's true, but yeah. It's all your fault. No. Crystals are in. It looks like you still have your eyes closed shut. What? Then keep them shut. How long will you last this time? <coughs> Is that Sam? Oh, that's so creepy. Okay. That is very creepy. It's getting worse. The fucking shithole town left a disgusting crack on my heart. Miss Lassie gave us an easy poetry assignment for once. She said it's okay to make a parody of the classics, classics as long as we stick to the ABCB rhyme. So I took the liberty of letting my imagination go. A, B, C, B, E, R, S, E, R, K? Here is a slight taste of my early work. Roses are red, violets, violets are blue. My life will have sucked if it wasn't for you. Call me Sam Spear. Wait, is it Whole Spear? <laughs> I could have waited for Brian to ask for my help with homework again, but I decided to make the first move this time. And guess what? He said he can handle it alone. Ooh. Call me Paradox, but I'm worried I might have hurt Brian's pride. That's what happens when Sam opens her idiot mouth or uses her idiot brain. No, I don't think so. If someone has a crush on you and you're like, hey, do you need help with the assignments? Even if you don't need help, you say, yes. Come on. P.S. I've decided to carry my diary in my bag. The doors in the girls' dorms are way too easy to open. Not as easy as Stacy, though. If you know what I mean. Sam! I even saw one of the girls using a notepad to crack her door open. Besides, I have this weird hunch someone's been reading my diary. I've decided to not ignore this hunch. So, when we either jumped or we 
were pushed through the Colton Hill, there was like a bag. Is... Am I Brian and did I kill Sam? And then took the bag and now I'm reading all of her diary? Because that's fucked up. Very fucked up. I think I have all the papers now. And it's getting bigger and bigger. The voices I hear from the crack are getting louder. I see more and more eyes staring at me through the gap. When I run out of places to run, I had one, only one solution. Now my memories are scattered all over the dark and I must look for them in the dark. Oh. Oh, I did it again. Jeez. Okay, I guess I need to pick up I, in the dark, so I need to... Okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay, that scared me. <laughs> I don't like that. That scared me. They keep me so warm. Okay, we got one. <laughs> we got two. Oh, just, I hate this so much. Where is the other one? It's probably... Was that Brian? I indulge your gaze. Bro, we have a problem, girl. This is getting... Where's the other one? It's probably like in here. Right. No? It's not here. Where is it then? Oh, it's up here. <laughs> what was that? Like endless sun rays. Yep, beautiful memories for sure. Um Okay, so I guess this is I indulge your gaze, I cherish your smile. Like endless sun rays, they keep me warm. No. They're like These? No. They keep me. Oh. Oh, there's like a dot in there. So I guess this goes here and this goes here. Correct. With Brian preparing for a rematch with the hammer's head, I once again gladly gave him a hand with the non important homework stuff. I must say, the teachers here don't give their poor students a break just because the test is over. It's not like I'm burdened with helping out, but Brian is really trying hard to get good grades. From what I've heard, he doesn't have much to, to worry about going to college this, since he's practically a local football star. Maybe his pushy police chief dad raised him to be an overachiever. It's funny how a model athlete like Brian got friends like Kyle, who always finds excuses to pull him out of school. It's unfair, really. As long as you are a sports star, you will end up with douches like him, no matter how nice a person you are. I don't speak with Kyle much, but I don't need conversation to know what he's like. First of all, his girlfriend is freaking Stacy Lennings. The stir he keeps me when I pass by is enough to creep me out the whole day. For the whole day. It would be lucky if Stacy didn't come along and start yapping about how Brian is out of my league. She has Kyle to play with, so why would she even care? Like, ask your boyfriend out for a drive, jeez. Have a nice life with him so Brian can stay out of the poison he does not deserve. Oh. Oh, I did. I keep doing that. So, well, I can't really see. Do I need to use this? Maybe? Can I. No. Oh! Who's that? Wait, who is that?
Wait, what? Oh! Oh, not again. Great. Let's keep reading. Oh. Okay, uh, let's keep- oh. Stop. Oh shit, I can hear that in here. Oh, I can see. Oh, it's coming from here. Wait, what? This, this looks like a public toilet, right? Uh, okay. Well, wait, what do I do here? Okay, well. I don't really know what I need to do in there. But oh. Great. What do I do then? Mm. Do I need to do something with this? Oh. Discover your potential with our early admission program. What the fuck are you smiling at? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! Get away! Oh, get away! Get away. <laughs> I have to do something? What do I need to do then? <laughs> I guess I need to do something? <laughs> I don't know why I need to. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> do you need to take a photo? <laughs> do I need to take a photo of them smiling? Is that it? Maybe? I don't know. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Try and avoid him, I guess. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, shit. Oh. What do I have to do? I don't get it. It's so scary. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh. What was that? I didn't even see what happened. Oh! Don't pussy out, this is for be careful. Press it. Do it. Wait, what? Oh, wait, what? Where are you going? Oh. <laughs> 
Oh, not again. <laughs> oh, I'm stuck. <laughs> Oh. oh no, that was not good. Okay, our house is a freaking mess, Brian. Well, I suppose you're Brian. I don't know what to think anymore. There was a consultant, consultant session from Kim, Green Heart College student programs at the gym today. I've seen its posters all over school since they arrived. I have nothing better to do, so I decided to give a visit and spend my precious after school time reading brochures. And once again, just like at the library, I was surprised to see Brian there. He was at the early decision program booth. I wanted to talk to him, but instead I ran from my room, jumped to my bed, and out of nowhere, tears started to drop. I bet it was because of those stupid hearts. Yep, I saw those hearts again. Now they were at the gym walls too. At first I thought whoever drew them must be very insecure about the relationship, but the truth is that I wish I had a relationship to be insecure about too. Deep down I know I want my heart, my own heart on the walls too, but seeing Brian at the college booth felt like finally getting punched by reality. I have no idea what I'll be doing in a couple of years. I thought of staying here at Rosen Peak, but with Brian preparing to leave, there's just no point to it. No Brian, no hearts on the wall. God, it's like my brain's creating a storm. I'm just gonna lie down for a bit. Hopefully, I will wake up next week. I wake up without waking up. Same rainy night. My loveless room, endless nightmare. This is actually our room? Wait. So this is Sam's room. But we're Brian. My life is nothing but a repetition of waking up with nothing to live for. Not even a false hope to look forward to this time. Long time ago when I finally got accepted my feelings for Brian, I thought... Got to accept my feelings for Brian, I thought everything was going to change. But every day was still just like every day. He was still a school star, I was still just his friend. When you live in Rosen Peak, people expect things to stay the same. If anything changed between us, it could ruin B and everything around him. So that's how it went. Nothing changed when my hole were burned. I kept telling myself, maybe after graduation I'll be able to express my feelings for him. I let the fire in my heart eat through my soul and body. I called myself a coward, but I chose to keep what little I had to enjoy. I was a poor kid crawled up in bed. Poor? Do I really deserve that charity title? Am I really the victim of all of this? Who is here to judge me anyway? It's all over. Everyone left me. Oh. How did I invite go? She in or not? Oh, she's coming. Doris like her can't say no to parties like this. So we're trying to give her the drama she wants so bad. Wait, what? So why do I feel like I'm being chased? Like someone's always watching me. Like someone's always trying to judge me. It's because of her. The moment she came into our lives, what little I had to enjoy, I started to crumble. November 2nd. I know I used half of this diary writing about Stacy being a bitch, but now she's just unstable. It wasn't even past the first class when I saw her arguing like crazy with Kyle. Heard her shouting something like, I'm done doing shit for you, before storming away. Then she saw me, I was her next target. She strutted towards me and said, this is all your fault. Why don't you go back to fucking San Diego? Whoa, what did I do? She was off before I could even open my mouth. I turned to Kyle for answers, but he was gone too. Come to think of it, I rarely saw them hanging out recently, but I didn't know things were this intense. Brian's been acting weird too. He hasn't talked to me much recently, he even looks somewhat more upset than usual. I finally tried to ask him what's wrong, but he cut me up short asking if I call him last night again. All I could give here was a blank face until Brian said never mind and walked away. What was that about? What did he mean by again? 
Calling him in the middle of the night for no reason is something I've dreamed of. But that doesn't mean I actually did it. What the hell is going on? I have no idea what's going on. Only bad changes happen in my life, no matter how hard I try to protect it. A city girl just asking to become, become an arts outsider. That was all she was to me. Hell, that was all she was to me, everyone else. But then I saw them talking at the library. I couldn't see clearly, but I could tell what's going on, what was going on. He was making her smile. Wait. It was another smile taunting my feelings for B. No one will ever know what kind of emotions I was hit with at the moment. A change was happening and I didn't like it at all. Stacy didn't like it either and she could never stand letting an easy social prey slip away from her. Naturally, Stacy took a peek into her diary one day. She took pictures of some sort of entries and sent them to me and her gang. She wanted everyone to join her twisted and childish game. Stacy Bummer was hoping to do nasty stuff to her drunk ass. I still can't believe Brian had to take her away like that. So, wait, we're not... Well, bitches like Sam does tend to make some people feel sorry. She didn't mention something about her dad in their diary. But she has some nasty daddy issues too. I know, how about we show everyone how needy a bitch can be? So who are we? Sounds fun, but how? Leave it to me, just keep reading her diary once in a while. So who are we? We're not, we're just another random girl? And she's... Oh. Jeez, that scared me. What? Is that Sam and Bry- oh. oh, no, 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 this can't be happening. Wait, what? I'm so confused of what's happening. What the fuck is going? I don't even know how to describe what happened this morning. This is fucked up. My hands are shaking again. I started when I opened my locker and something poured out. For a few seconds, my brain was cut off from whatever was happening. When I finally looked down, there was there were dozens of pictures scattered on the hallway, fo hallway floor. All of them were pictures of Brian with gibberish written on them. The whole school was at the hall. They looked at the pictures, then at me, and then at the pictures. Brian was there too, the face he gave me. The face of disgust. He turned away and left. He didn't even say anything. I tried to just him say something, anything to him, but the floor started spinning, and people started whispering, like they knew what was going on. The air soon began to choke my throat. I swept what was on the floor and ran off to class. Of course, Daisy must have something to do with this. I looked for her, but she was nowhere to be found. The rest of the day was about nothing but avoiding eye contact with anyone. I can't sleep. Brian's not answering any of my texts. There is no one to talk to. So, I am, I am so confused right now. P kept saying nothing was going on between them. Lies, lies, but I wasn't about to believe everything was just fine. How could you lie? In my eyes, Sam was using Bri Brian to fill her sad, empty life. I couldn't let that happen. She wanted drama she didn't deserve. She deserves shit. She doesn't get to barge in and start stealing the life I've only dreamed of. Oh... Stacy kept doing what she does best, digging into others' secrets. She sent pictures of the little shit's diary pages to me. That's how I found out about their little trip to Colton Hill. It was our hit out since first year of high school and her presence turned it into fucking nothing. How could be this to us? The only way to break them apart was to show Bri Brian what a creep she was. Did you find a diary yet? Babe, I think you're taking this so too seriously. Did you find it or not? 
I think she knows I'm sneaking into her room. I can't find it anywhere. Babe, don't you think you're too obsessed with breaking them up? You're bailing on me now? Forget it. Please, babe. Maybe Brian doesn't even like the girl. I just forget it. Okay, I did not expect this to turn at all. Oh, there are needles everywhere now. What? Did we spike her drink? Oh no, was it us? Did we put like a letter for telling her to come to the Colson Hill? Did we kill her? Oh shit, wait, wait, wait. This is getting excited. The school counselor called me today. Mr. Ferns asked me if the rumors were true. Rumors that I've been leaving hard drawings all over school. Rumors that I've been stalking Brian. At this point, the whole school must be out of his mind. I didn't even know the letters in the fucking heart spelled S and B. And what just because... And what just because the initials are S and B. Suddenly, everyone na every, every name that starts with them are either Sam or Brian. And guess what? Even crazier words are on the streets. Sam Holt, the daughter of a sex offender... Graves forbidden love. Shit. How on earth did Stacy find out about that? Why would she do so much to fuck up my life? And where the fuck is she? Is she, you know what? I'm tired. I'm tired of waiting for Brian to listen to me. I'm tired of looking for words that describe this fucked up situation. I can't believe I have to go through this again. So far from home and so soon. Brian, please, please say something. Holy shit. I kept reading the disgusting words she wrote on her diary. At the same time, I felt something. A reminder of how I felt when I fell for B. How it felt so right and terribly wrong. Screaming into my pillow never helped with making the feelings go away. Then I remembered she wrote something about her dad. It must have had something to do with her existence in my life. I started digging it wasn't even a challenge. Keith Holt arrested for sexually assaulting a teenager. It was beautiful. I found the perfect ending. All I had to do next was fill in the rest of the story. Oh, Sam Holt calls Brian from a payphone, payphone in the middle of the night and silently listens to his voice. How did Sam's dad even get married? He likes little girls, doesn't he? Maybe Sam's man used to be the pervert's victim. <coughs> Sam Holt takes Brian's picture and keeps them hidden in her locker. That Sam's gir Sam girl's got some balls, everyone talking about her privy dad, and she's still showing up to class. Respect. <coughs> Sam Holt draws hearts all over the school to let others know Brian is hers. Oh my god, how could Sam Holt not kill herself if my dad went on the news for touching teens that's bye bye war for me lol oh this is so bad a needed city girl with a huge hole to fill a hole left by her sweet old daddy she was just a disaster wanting to happen no one even brian will think otherwise i made all the preparations where, while stacy spread the rumors i created it wasn't easy i almost got caught taking a picture of brian using the restroom but I kept going. Every picture I took was a love confession I could never make. Every heart I drew was my sacrifice for him. When enough suspicion piled up on some, I stuffed all the pictures I took into her locker. It was a happy coincidence that B was there to see the spectacular unfold when it happened. It was over. Things were about to turn back to normal. And then Stacy's drama filled her filled head exploded. Hide! Oh shit, shit, shit. Hide, hide, hide. What? I'm hiding. What was that? So we need to hide here first. When I 
it goes to the other side, we have to get out. Now, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Fast, 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 fast. There you go. I have to go that way. Okay. Should I go now? Maybe not. I'll just wait until it gets there. Okay, there you go. Maybe you'll be able to leave again. Open. Okay, let's wait here. Oh. Let's hide here. And let's wait. And let's go there. Once it goes to the other side. Now. Open. I'm done watching you get away with the shit you've done to me. Did you really think I wouldn't find out what's going on? I know you've been using me to break Sam and Brian apart, so you can have some fun with her. Well, I had my share of fun when I told Brian what you've been doing. You should have seen the face he made when I got to the part about you drawing those R-word hearts all over school. Hope you enjoy your happy life now that there is no Brian to get in your way. Oh, by the way, I saw you staring at that college poster. What do you like the girl in the poster to? Is it why you tore her face off? You need help and don't bother calling me. So Stacy actually told Brian about this. Oh my god, this is getting wild. Okay, it exploded. Please, man, Stacy got it all wrong. It's just a misunderstanding. It's a meaningless prank, that's all. Please be, don't do this to me. It takes me back, please. The day Stacy told Brian was the last day he talked to me. Duh. He was so angry at me, he would never understand what I did for him. Typical, so fucking typical. Again, I was left alone to suffer. For we're crazy. This time someone have to pay for it. What is this? K S Wait I, w I thought we were a woman that have was having a crush on, on Brian but are we actually Kyle? Is it Kyle who's in love with Brian? So he's kind of using Stacy to wait 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 oh yeah that's Sam and that's Kyle meet me at a wait oh my god wait this is <laughs> crazy oh wait what so Kyle put the... Oh? What? Oh! We have the thing here, the paper. <gasps> so we... Oh. What? Oh! Uh, this is a huge plot twist. Oh! Now what do I do? So Kyle was in love- oh shit, oh shit. Fucking run! I can't run! Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh! So Kyle sent uh, that, well sent, to put the paper, the note in the locker for Sam to read. Sam believed that Ryan sent him that and now we're gonna kill her. So we can, I don't know. Oh my god, this is bad. Waiting for someone? <gasps> Kyle, what are you doing here? 
You just can't stay away from him, can you? You know you don't deserve him. I don't know what you're talking about. Our lives are ruined because of you. Don't come any... We need to take it from the back. Wait, we can't take it? Oh, we need like a branch or something to take it? What's gonna happen? Oh! Guys, I did not expect this at all. Maybe I'll take another one. Holy shit! Some property, get out, keep out. Oh, those are all the. God, everything makes sense now. What the fuck? It was an accident. I never meant to kill her, or maybe I did. Did I? But does it matter? Did any of what I did matter? I left the team soon after what happened at Colton. After that, the school, from what I've heard, Brian easily got accepted to college. He left town right after graduation. The fact that he's a star athlete with notable school record worked like a charm. He's been growing the idea of living Rosen Peak since his mom died. Living alone with his obnoxious dad didn't help much with being attached to his hometown. He kept this plan, his plan mostly a secret. He hated the attention he was getting as a star who lost his mom. If people found out his plan, they will surely be talking about it too. But he did hint about living and I tried so hard to ignore what it meant for me. Even those college posters all over the school were laughing at me. They were making fun of my impending doom. They were all saying, haha, see, you're gonna die along here. Maybe I knew, I knew that B took an interest in Sam because she was just a, a clueless new girl who was lonely enough to do anything for any guy who was nice to her. But jealousy is a strong, jealousy is a strong creature. It quickly devoured my mind, soon anger took control of me, and I just needed someone to be mad at other than Brian. Even after he left me, anger stayed. It still haunts me in my sleep, and every time I open my eyes, it just gets worse, and again, it's time to wake up. But wake up from what? To be greeted by the fact that I must start running around in circles again. That I must stick needles into my body so I can forget my past for a few fucking minutes. It's just like that story Miss Lassie once told us about the shortest horror story in the world. The last man on earth heard a knock on the door. I'm alone in my room. I'm alone in this world. There is someone knocking on the door. I don't know who it is, but I keep the door locked. No one comes in. No one gets out, goes out. I'm so tired just wanting to end. Let's just wake up. Let's just open the door. I don't care who or what is waiting for me. But what about my diary, the one I've been keeping to remind myself how I am the victim of everything that's happened? I don't know what I would do without it, what will keep me from going insane. So here comes the big question. 
you like keep it I mean I would say yes because I want the people to know the truth but for you it would be better if you just deleted the whole thing but I'm gonna say yes oh I can't oh uh keep it Fuck it, I'm not giving up the only thing that's left for me. Nothing's my fault. I'm not letting go of anything ever again. Just turn off the lights, go to bed. Maybe everything will be better tomorrow. Oh, that's it, right? Yeah. Turn off the lights. Go to bed. Okay. That oh my god. I did not expect all of this story. And it's we've just only been in one room. We have we haven't gotten out like to anywhere. Only to Col Colton Hill, but it's so well done. No battery. Okay. Do I get out now to the, from the door? Oh. Oh. Is that some? Whoa! That was so cool! I love the game! So that is all for today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the game as much as I did, because that was way different from what I, thought, what I thought it was gonna be. I enjoyed it thoroughly. So, yeah, as always, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!